What? Mitchell Trubisky? What? Anyways, this is Market Monday, but it looks like uh, we got the Trubo for a couple years here in the Berg. Hopefully, it's something that we can get out of easily um, and cut them when we need to. But let's talk about uh, what's going on. We got a content schedule. I don't know if you guys know. Like, what, I, I, I tweeted this, but I don't want to show it too long here to get uh, copyrighted. We're jumping. Uh, but don't worry. We'll wake up tomorrow morning because it's only a video game. So, free agency promo is the big thing on the list. Obviously, Backyard Ballers coming tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a sec, along with Ultimate Legends, what that means. Kind of a big deal, kind of some big changes there. Heavyweights and Limiteds, of course, on the way. Now, Backyard Ballers and Ultimate Legend looks like it's Moss Week. I don't know why. They, the, the graphic was kind of messed up. It was like Randy Moss on the screen was like super like thin and warped. I don't know why they did that. I don't know. EA's kind of uh, losing in the graphics department. But anyways... The CB98 overall, it says limited time right here. But overall, it's over here it says 98 overall, but no limited time. So, the big implication, yes, the implication is that the Ultimate Legends will go up to 98 overall. Which makes a little bit of sense. Because if you look at last year's game, and uh, we'll just show this a second. I was going to talk about ULs first. We'll talk about free agent set uh, first. If you look at the big cards last year, they were 98 overalls as the big players. So it makes sense if we're going to get free agents on Friday that our Ultimate Legends would also go up to 98 overalls. So expect 98 overall sets. Now, what to do with the Ultimate Legend exchange sets? Because there's a lot of thought around the Ultimate Legends that maybe the exchange sets will go up in overall. Obviously, they will go up in overall. It just makes sense. So if you recall last year when it started off, and last year's exchange sets were way worse than this year's. This year's a huge upgrade. It was an 85 to 86 and, and 7 83 to 84s for a random skill edition player. This year, these sets are a little bit more defined where it's like 85, 86, and then it's only for the, like, the lowest overall. Then you can exchange the lowest overall for the 91s and then and so on and so forth on up. So big upgrade this year's exchange set. So, But if we look at last year's, these exchange sets, 287s, 585s, in 783s let's look back at it, what they were it was 585s and 783s so there is a potential that it goes up to an 87 to 88 overall legend players or just like 87 to 88 overall players themselves okay so we'll look at the sets obviously they went all the way up to 99s last year but the transition happened around i think it was from 97s to 98s or maybe it was from 98s to 99s i don't remember the exact uh time period but these 98s ended up having 88s, 92s, 96s, where these cards last year had 87, 91s, 95s. These things should look familiar to us since we have these exact same overalls this year. Similar sets, not exactly the same. More 87s this year, one less 8 and 91. So a little different. Um, so but the 98s then had 96, 92, 88. So expect the overalls to go up. Now, we don't know what the exchanges are going to be. Um, I, I, I think safest at 87. Some people think 86s are the way to go. I was buying both 86 and 85s last week. I used them all in the exchange, made profit on the Charles Woods. And hopefully you guys are doing these uh, um, sets for profit because they are crazy profitable over the weekend. So just FYI, um, I don't think it's a bad idea right now if you want to grab 87s. If you're looking to invest and speculate on these sets, not terrible either. Because with the free agency promo, if you look at what we had last year, obviously these sets, these, these things are never the same, but they frequently rhyme, right? All these exchange sets frequently rhyme. Um, so last year it was an 85, 83, 82. So if you do keep your 85s, you might be able to use them to these exchange sets going forward. But like an 87 and 89 overall free agency player, it was, it was I think, uh, to my knowledge, it wasn't like crazy. Um, these sets last year, anything like super profitable, but uh, there might be a little bit of increase in the um, pack fodder, we'll say. The biggest increase, though, was to the free agents themselves, right? Dak Prescott, I remember this card came out last year. His, uh, like, I went back and looked at old videos. His his Team of the Week card shot up in price. Um, same thing, I looked through, like, Justin Simmons' Team of the Week card last year. Or No, no, sorry. It was his Team Builder card shot up in price. It was, it, like, went up, like, 200 to 300%. So we can look through and look through, basically, this thing, right? We can look through certain um, free agents and say, all right, who's most likely to get the highest overall? Cordell Patterson, he's got a team of the year card. We don't know if he'll get another card, but uh, good luck on that. Devonta Adams was franchise tag, so probably not going to be in it. Odell Beckham, 
Um, he's got a pretty high card to my knowledge. It's it's super expensive. I forgot what the overall was on it though. Let me take a look at Beckham's um card. Whoops. So you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think's coming out for free agents. Uh Beckham's got a 97 overall. That's right. Um he's definitely not gonna get a upgrade. Well, maybe he will, but that's kind of crazy to go from 97 to like 98. Um Antonio Brown. Juju Smith Schuster could get a a, a high-ish card. Maybe not the 98. Um tight end Gronk. Ooh, Gronk might be a decent one. What are Gronk's cards at? Um Gronk. His 95 is at 240 for the Redux because it's a uh, you know old limited. So he could get a 98 overall, send the the Redux up. But 240 is a lot to invest um, in a card for the power up path. All right, Gronk is there. Do you think they'll give us a lineman for the for a 98 overall? And I'm not just saying like like I talked about in this like other cars besides because of theme teams and stuff they drive a lot of value to like even the 96s. Right, so it's not just the 98s that I, I should be talking about, but um, not a bad idea, obviously, to spread out your investment a lot of like the top end guys. Um, even though like Jensen resigned, maybe they'll do that. They, they, they've they brought people that signed before the promo, as uh, I think so. Like, did JJ Watt sign pretty early and they still brought him out two years ago? I remember, like, I think it was Thune two years ago, he was like already signed by the time the promo came out, too. Hicks, I don't know if they'll do any of these guys. Von Miller could very well get a card, but he's got like a Super Bowl card, right? Von's already, no, he had a high-end legend, so we might not get it. Um, Clowney, I could totally see Clowney being a, a, at least a 96, because he's got like a pretty bad um, mid-90s cards, 94. Yeah, maybe Clowney gets an upgrade. He's a, he's a, like a big mutt name. He's bigger in mutt than he is IRL, but he's pretty, you know, he's a pretty decent-sized guy, IRL. Um, Campbell could get a 96. He had a great year, but he's a linebacker. Who cares? JC Jackson cars. Anybody investing in him? Gilmore. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of sexy corners here. Dante Jackson could get an upgrade. Um, he's a, he's a mutt guy because he's so fast, but although everybody's like 99 speed now, so it's not that big of a deal. Honey Badger, I think just got one. Oh, that was it for safeties. Justin Reed McCourty. So yeah, go ahead and, and look through yourselves. Uh, what I say? Jackson. Let's take a look at him. J.C. Jackson's got... Oh, he just got a backyard baller. Hmm. But that's, like, out of position. So who cares, right? J.C. Jackson, 94 stocking stuffer. This one might not be terrible if you grab yourself a, a, a J.C. Jackson right now. So anyways, that's Market Monday. A lot of speculation going on. We talked about the sets for Ultimate Legends, limited time. So with Randy Moss limited time card coming out, it's going to be probably people rolling for it. Now, the issue becomes how expensive is he going to be with that limited time on the way? Because, like, uh, we've seen a lot of these limited time backyard baller cards fall down to about minimum within, like, 10 minutes of them going live. But Randy Moss is Randy Moss, right? Especially a cornerback Randy Moss, a six foot four cornerback. I hope his change of direction's high, agility high. That's my biggest concern. Obviously, his speed is just... It's going to be 99 or, like, probably, like, 98 speed. Power to 99. I can actually... Can we see them going with 97 speed? So that way you need a little bit of either theme team or DB strat cards. I don't know. But a 6'4 corner is always something worth looking at. The only issue with this Randy Moss card. Do you see what I'm talking about? It kind of looks warped. I don't know. But the only issue with this card is the fact that he's going to have like low block shed. Whereas like we got Charles Woodson out here with like 91 block shed. So like 6'4 is really nice. But I could put like a 6'4 Taylor Mays, Cam Chancellor, 6'3". Like, there's a lot of safeties you can put at corner right now with how they've done it. But I, I still think it's going to be exciting to try and uh, use Randy Moss. You're still going to get spec caught over. Uh, I still am using deep out KOs on my guy. So, I don't know. Is it worth using over Charles Woodsman deep out knockout? Maybe not. But I will try and I'll try him in place of Isaiah Simmons there at corner. Maybe we'll move Isaiah Simmons back to safety in place of Graham. But... Who knows? Randy Moss. We'll see his stats tomorrow. That should drive up training a little bit. Um, I don't know how much, but it should drive it up a little bit, depending on uh, what packs and stuff come out. But really, Randy Moss, I could see that limited being over 400K just for just for name value, and, and maybe it'll give him crazy stats. So, um, that's the video. Tom Brady's coming back. You guys probably heard about that. I hate it, dude. I don't know if you guys want my reactions. I hate it. I thought the bad man was gone. <laughs> I thought the man that tortured my, like, freaking nightmares for years as a Steelers fan had finally left us. But I, I, I guess 
He hated his family more than uh, taking hits in the NFL. So, uh, seems seems awful for us and uh, for his family. But they probably enjoy watching him. Free agency. Yeah, that's all I talked about. Friday for that, it looks like. Preview packs. Oh, yeah, yeah preview packs. I almost missed one. Uh, Mutt Leaks put out something that uh, we talked about this last year with FIFA um, coming out with preview packs that we're probably getting something similar with Madden. And it looks like they uh, unused it. So they, they got preview pack in Madden, but it looks like they just kind of scrapped it. It, it, it. The Mutt team is lazy, right? Like they just like they put out a, a good amount of content, but innovation is not their style, right? Changing is not their style, right? They just want to do the same thing over and over again because they're, they're, they're dumb. Right, and sure, they put out a lot of lot, lot of uh, content, but like we don't get anything new or different in Mutt. Right? Remember, remember halftime adjustments? They're so lazy they can't even fix it up and bring it back to the game. Like this is what we have to deal with as Mutt gamers. Like Fut, Fut did this stuff, and now, like maybe we'll get it. Maybe they'll borrow like a Fut developer to bring it to Mutt. But like, dude, it's it's embarrassing how bad the Mutt team is at innovation. So. They were in the game. We'll see if they come in in the future or if they're going to wait for 23. But it's like an unused feature. Probably won't see it this year. Maybe they'll bring it in late in the year. That would be the ideal. Late late year Madden's great testing ground. But that's it for the video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We're trying for 100K. I don't know when we're going to make it, but it's okay because we're all going to make it. I will see you guys later.